Will somebody tell me why there are 67 ingredients in a McDonald's Big Mac? You thought Chick-fil-A and their 55 ingredients were bad? We're gonna stop by McDonald's, get the world famous Big, Big Mac, Mac, and it's 67 ingredients. Yeah. Could I just get a Big Mac, please? That's it, thank you. I'm just getting over being sick for four days, so my voice is a little shot, but we're gonna do this anyway. Okay, we can see the grease coming. We know what we're in for, guys. We know what we're in for. I'm a sucker for burgers. This actually smells good compared to the Chick-fil-A thing. Yeah, look at that. Mm. It does smell good. But let's get into what's actually in this 580 calories for this thing and this is this thing by itself this doesn't include fries or a large coke it does have 25 grams of protein that's great 45 grams of carbohydrates 34 grams of fat oh my god and it has a gram of trans fat trans fats are illegal they're not supposed to be in our foods five grams of added sugars 1060 milligrams of sodium holy crap in the bun thiamine mononitrate we want to stay away from nitrates as much as possible water sugar yeast soybean oil 95 percent of all soy is farmed with glyphosate, an herbicide created by a company called Monsanto. It's been linked directly to lymphoma in the 11 billion dollars in lawsuit settlements they've paid out since about 2006. It is approved by the FDA, but those lawsuits revealed that Monsanto paid the FDA to look the other way, and they paid scientists to falsify published data. Oof. Let's see, sesame seeds, that's fine. Potato starch, salt, dextrose. Dextrose is a simple sugar, so that converts very, very quickly to glucose. Modified food starch. That is a top secret name for maltodextrin. Now, maltodextrin it spikes blood sugar. In fact, it is double the glycemic index of regular table sugar. Why do they use it? Because they know it's highly addictive. They don't have to list maltodextrin as a sugar. Instead, it goes under carbohydrates. So you don't think you're getting sugars when in fact, you're getting the response of sugar times two. Sunflower and or canola oil. So now we've got seed oils in here as well. We know seed oils aren't inherently bad from my previous video that I posted. They're just in everything. And they make you hungry, they cause lipo Genesis, so the nutrients that you're uptaking from the food that you're eating get stored to fat quicker. And then they list maltodextrin as well. Natural flavors, we never know it's in natural flavors. As long as it is 2% or less of the total ingredients, I don't gotta tell you what's in it, it's top secret. It could be propylene glycol for all we know. And sometimes it is. So supposedly the beef patty is 100% pure USDA inspected beef with no fillers and no additives. We're just gonna have to take their word on that. Grill seasoning is just salt and black pepper. Lettuce. Now, in the Big Mac sauce that's on here, this is where it gets good. Soybean oil. In the sweet relish, we have diced pickles, sugar, more sugar, high fructose corn syrup. No matter how small or how large of a mouth that it is, it's terrible for your body. Crystalline fructose, the type that's in high fructose corn syrup, it downregulates dopamine. It is highly, highly addictive. It causes the tight junctions in your epithelial cells. That's the cells in your gut to start to separate. That's legitimately leaky gut. And so it leads to systemic inflammation within the body. And it makes you hungry. Oh, and then they just have straight up corn syrup. Xanthan gum is not my favorite. There's a big debate going on right now about the safety of it. Oh, propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is an antifreeze, just so you guys know. All the stuff in the cheese looks pretty normal. Now the pickle slices that are in here, this is the same thing that happened with Chick-fil-A. How are there 10 ingredients in pickle slices? Somebody tell me, please. We've got cucumbers. We've got water, distilled vinegar. That's typically where we stop. Salt, calcium chloride, alum. So we're adding aluminum to it. Potassium sorbate is a preservative that has been linked to cytotoxin toxicity and genotoxicity, cellular damage and DNA damage. And it has polysorbate 80 in it. It's a preservative that is detrimental to epithelial integrity. The epithelial cells are what make up your gut. We don't want to be damaging that consistently. The question is, would you eat something with 67 ingredients in it? And you know a lot of them are harmful to your body. Me personally, the answer is no. Sorry, McDonald's, this is not happening.